How's it going, y'all? So today we're going to explore some areas of Cook County called Leo and Greenwood. And so I'm on foot, one foot, one prosthetic foot, one real foot. And so we're just gonna walk around. Right now we're in Greenwood. And we're gonna look at some of these, um, these kind of historical sites. Some of these areas that people don't visit very often. Y'all are gonna come visit with me. You don't have to get in your car. I've done it for you. All right, let's go. Greenwood Masonic Lodge number 779. In 1895, members of the fraternal organization, the Freemasons petitioned the most, well, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that's what this is, a Masonic Lodge. So this is Greenwood right here. Got an old building, dilapidated building here. There's their post office right there. You traveling? What's that? You traveling pretty far? Looks like you got enough storage space to nah, go camping. I, nah, we live in Grapevine. Okay. And I'm just, I love this area. So yeah. I get out here and I put the uh, uh, Google Maps on. Yeah. But then it'll tell you, okay, go this way, it's 10 more minutes, and then, you know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I just keep doing that, and I eventually get yeah. here, but I hit all these county roads around here. Yeah, well, this is my first time here, but I live in Cook County. We live in Gainesville, yep. and I do a lot of bicycle riding, but there's only so much I can pack because I just don't have the power, you know, to to uh, yeah go too far with too much. But yeah. yeah, this is a neat area, right? I've never been to Greenwood. I've seen it on the map. I've been thinking about riding my bike here, but I just never have, and now I can see that it's a pretty cool place, it is cool destination. Cool. Yeah. So, um, I mean, we've. We've eaten here before. I don't know what their story is with the, the vid and everything. But yeah, it's Sunday, so I guess that's why it's closed. But it, is it a good place to visit on a Saturday? Yeah, I think, and okay. we haven't made it, but I, yeah. I believe they've got a catfish fry every Saturday. Okay. And All then, right. and I'm not sure if she's still alive, but I think five, six, seven years ago, we came here and a um, hundred year old woman makes the beans. Really? Badass beans, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, so that's I, awesome. Uh, so they're open, I guess. Well, the hours are there, so they, they are. True to the hours, huh? I guess That's so. awesome. Yeah, this is just a yeah, it's a neat little trip little, back in time. Little gem, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm just out catching country roads on a beautiful day. It's all me too. Yeah. So I just had. I was trying to call my friend. You're the first person I'll tell him admit this to. But I was I was on a little dirt road today, and you know how there's the crown to the road, right? So it's kind of like that, a little slanted. Yeah. I had a peak. Yeah. So, so I pulled over and I put it on my kickstand and when I got went to get off the bike, I noticed it was almost kind of teetering, you know, because it was a little slanted. Yeah, yeah, right on the edge. Yeah. And uh, I stabilized it, turned the wheel a little bit, and uh, okay, it's it's solid. So it's behind me. I'm sitting here. It's There's nobody around. I'm peeing and the damn thing falls over on me oh. while I'm peeing. <laughs> so I go face. Man, I go yeah, face, you got to step further away from your bike next time. I know. I go yeah. face down and I, you know, I finished, right? But your bike rolled down into a ditch, right? Nope. No, no. It just, okay. And it's yeah. because of the case in yeah. the in the. Oh, yeah, yeah. It can. The engine yeah. sticks out right there. Yeah. yeah. It, it doesn't go all the way down. Yeah. And I, but it's, I mean, that's a heavy bike. I literally had to. Yeah. You have to back up to it and kind of squat up and then anyway. Yeah. I figured my friend would get a kick out of that because you know, you're out in the middle of nowhere taking a pee and your bike falls over and knocks you down on your face. Probably the wind knocked it over, I would think. I think wind it was, was just teetering. I think yeah. I, just, okay. I, I should have reparked. <laughs> but it didn't damage it, you know, yeah. at all. Yeah, that's good. You go on gravel with those tires all right, or is that a little too slick? Gravel's fine. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to do anything too technical. I'd probably yeah. want some knobbies on there. Yeah. But yeah, gravel's fine. Okay. Yeah, I hit some, some gravel today. It's, yep. Um, 
I love that bike. I've, I've had up to five bikes at one time just because everything does its own thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I finally just kept paring down and paring down because my wife and I rode less and less, and that's the one that, that made it, <laughs> the five, because it's kind of a... Yeah, you can do it. It's like a dual sport, kind of, it but it does... Sport, okay, but yeah, but it doesn't have the knobby tires. It's a big dual sport. It's okay. heavy. It's a, it's a 1,200 cc. Yeah. But it's great, you know? Yeah. The better it is on the highway, the worse it is off road. The better it is off road, the worse it is on the highway. Yep, I know the trade offs the same with bicycles. Yeah, the better exactly. road bikes versus mountain bikes. So yeah, so that's like yeah. the best of all worlds. But you would, you know, you wouldn't want to get any crazy single track or anything. You'd be in trouble. But they, they'll yeah. go through some stuff. Down What's the name of that town? Green. Uh, uh, sorry, it's Leo. Leo. L E O. Did I say try Greenwood? I yeah. meant Leo. Try I Leo. You're being a smart ass. Yeah, <laughs> Leo. No, I just Leo, Texas. There it is. Fourteen. It's fourteen minutes from here. Gotcha. All right. Huh. Yeah, I'd never seen it before. Is it kind of like so this close. little town? Like no, that? no, it's not. It's but it, it's it's more like out in the country. There's farm here and farm there. It's real and pretty you, rural farm. Once you get houses. there, is the is it pretty easy to find the, the waterfall? Um, uh, you'll find it before you get there. If you get there and it's you haven't seen it, then you've passed it. It was one of the other routes. So because huh, I see I can show you actually if well, you, there's a, if I can see those roads. So it comes in, but there's a there's the river. It doesn't look like you. Let me zoom in. Okay, so actually the waterfall is right, right here. There's a low water crossing and a waterfall. where that little hook is. Yep. yep okay. That's where it is. Okay. Pretty neat area. If, yeah. if there wasn't a dead dog that stinks so bad, it would be really awesome. And that it wasn't a little trash. It's just, yeah, it's a real natural, a awesome natural formation. Yep, yep. Yeah, I guess. I might go check that out. Good, is, it a, is it a pretty ride up there? Yeah. Yeah. Just all these back roads, country roads? Yeah, you're going to be on gravel, so. Ah, okay. Don't go too fast. Nope. With your slick tires. Well, good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Yeah. What's your name? Dave. Dave, I'd shake your hand, but you know. No worries. It's the world we live in I've, now. I've, I've had, my wife, uh, daughter, and I had it. We, we covered it about two weeks ago, so we had it about Crap. A, a month ago. Well, no, okay. we're, we're, yeah. we're considered the safest people out there right okay. now. Okay, yeah, well. You, I, not that you need to bank on that, but you yeah, know, yeah. they say you can't get yeah. a baby for you know, two, three months. So. Okay. All my well, friends are like hugging me and stuff because it's... You're not contagious at all, doctor said. Now okay. I'm not for sure, okay. but I'm okay. saying it's really tough Good. to get it again. Good. No, I've been not well, contagious for about two weeks. Awesome. Well, I got sick last, I think it was February, February 25th, which in the two weeks later, the news was like, okay, every now the coronavirus is here. And I, I had all the signs, but it was technically before it should have been here. So yeah. I don't, I don't know if I had it or not, but I definitely I think it had it here. Well, I ran a fever for like a week and I coughed and it was just a dry cough that wouldn't go away. And every night I wake up just in sweats, yeah. night sweats and it lasted for a whole week. And I've never had anything like that before. It's probably a good chance you did. It was, you know. Yeah. February 25th. I remember cause I did a hundred mile bicycle ride and I started feeling sick on that ride. Mm. And then the rest of the, you know, from then on, I was like for a week, I was really sick. Everyone yeah. in my family got sick. It was no fun. It wasn't yeah. horrible. I'd, I'd rather have it what we had than the flu, but you're always paranoid because of the, the lung part of it. So I'd, you know, I'd go, oh, is, was that a wheeze? Was that a, you know what I mean? Like, cause, cause it can head south fast. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I always have allergies this time of year, but. Yeah. Yeah. But we definitely had it. Our daughter's whole volleyball team got it. That's where it started. Then came to us and, um, but. But how long did it last for you? About a week and a half. Okay. I missed I missed three full days of work and five half days. I would okay. just kind of go until I couldn't go. And what what how was it for you? Like, um, I mean, like I what was, were the symptoms you suffered from? So I had um, fever for the first couple of days. It got up to 102 the first night, and then it's just kind of low grade doing this. Yeah. Um, you know, headache, super worn out, like super super. Just you know, that's why I was yeah. working half days. Yeah. Um, some body aches. <clears throat> I guess that was about it. A little bit of loss of taste and smell. My wife had more loss of taste and smell. Mm -hmm. um, and then it just kind of slowly started getting better. But it's weird. I tell people I, I, I could almost feel like I could feel the, like poison in my body. Just little different weird things. And sometimes I get be kind of throbby, you know, even in my fingers and stuff like that. Just yeah, different stuff would crop up and then yeah, go away. That. 
I've read that in toes and fingers. Yeah, and it's weird. Aging. And then at the end of May, I completely lost all sense of taste and smell for two solid weeks. Wasn't stuffed up, hmm. gone. I mean, okay. for effect, I ate uh, barbecue chicken with peanut butter on it one night just to show people <laughs> I could eat whatever I wanted. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I, the end of May was like before or after the, the worst of it, like you're saying. Well, I, I may have had it Unrelated? Twice. Okay. All yeah, right. Because that's yeah, in yeah. May. We, yeah, I yeah. Got, October 14th is when okay. I started showing symptoms again oh. for this last bout. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Um, wow. So it can recur. That's what I've read. Can. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know if yeah. I had it. I don't know if <laughs> yeah, I had you don't it. know. A lot of people think they have it and don't. I may not have had it because that was before testing was but happening. But no, you know, we've it. all had been plugged up and you can't taste and it's aggravating. <clears throat> yeah. But to be to have zip for two weeks and not hmm. be plugged up at all, that's pretty weird. So that happened in May, but did that happen the last bout? Uh -uh. Okay. Huh. But, but you know, it's it yeah. different every time. So I, yeah, I it's know. mutating and different strains i have no idea <laughs> i know just you know as much as everybody else does but yeah but we're well, you know we stay pretty safe i mean we i do stuff like this we go out camping you know but you're distanced yeah. to camping and things like that but other than that we don't go to bars and you know, all the stupid stuff so. yeah i don't either yeah but then again i go to walmart you just got to go some places yeah take yeah. some risks here we are talking <laughs> right so and I, and then like, I told you I had COVID and you're like... A <laughs> little bit, yeah, because I've got a... Uh, well, shit, you know, I just don't know. You just, I've got a cousin who's 33 years old who died from it. And so I worry like, shit, do I have some kind of genetic predisposition if, if I haven't gotten it? But he, I don't know if he had any underlying conditions. He was in the army and uh, he was in Gainesville taking care of his mom. And he went to Tom Thumb to go shopping for her, and then he thinks that's where he got it, and he died like within a week. And damn, they did. I mean, if he has any comorbidities, I don't know what they are. He seemed pretty healthy to mm. me. So, I but, mean, there's no method to the madness. We've got yeah, there's... exactly. Some people you'd be fine. I, I know somebody, that, or um, yeah, I know somebody. This lady with emphysema, she's on oxygen and all this stuff. She's like almost 80 years old, and she got it and recovered just fine. So, that I haven't seen my parents sense. since March because my mom. She's got some stuff going on, and she's yeah. so she she's pretty convinced that if she gets it, it's going to wipe her out. And she's yeah. a retired microbiologist, so she knows about all this stuff. Yeah, and uh, good. But so I haven't seen her since March. Of them, wow. They're just, they're just like no, no, don't no offense, but don't come to the house. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't I can't argue with that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm more concerned about giving it to somebody else than I am of getting it. But yeah, same here. I feel pretty like I'm pretty healthy. And, same here, especially after we've been through it, and you know, not saying we're invincible, but you know, I guess it is kind of nice to know that you can, yeah, not die. Well, I was doing really good about staying away from everybody until I broke this leg, and then I had to go into the hospital and deal yeah. with everybody in the medical community. So then I thought, well, I'll probably catch it in the hospital, but it didn't happen. Good, but you don't want to get hurt right now because right now, with the with the uh, flare up, now the hospitals are really getting full yeah. of people with COVID for so. sure. And then flu's gonna break out and everybody's gonna think they have COVID when they have flu. Yeah, this whole winter I think is just gonna get worse and worse with the COVID. Just because it lives in a cooler environment, it survives on surfaces and in the air when it's cool. Right. You know? So the summer was hot and yeah. kind Especially of... around here. How yeah. Great, how are you doing? Doing good. 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 Enjoying the day? Enjoying the, your town. Yep. Enjoying our town? Yeah. yeah. Our town? <laughs> I love yep. it out here. Beautiful I, town, I beautiful weather. Yep. Beautiful day to be here. Where y'all from? I'm from Gainesville, Texas. I've got my kids over there playing in the playground. Oh. I'm yep. grapevine. Wow. So I just, I like to come out here and ride around the country roads because, you know, Dallas. It just amazes me that y'all all, well, we live, I live here, grew up here, so. Yeah. So. Well, y'all kept it beautiful, so now it's a rare gem. Yeah, but it, attraction. when I was growing up, I didn't ever, you know, like, people would ask me, where do I live? And I'd say north of Decatur because nobody knew where Greenwood was. Right. Now I say, yeah. I live in Greenwood. Oh, I know where Greenwood is. They have hamburgers, fish, whatever. Yep. <laughs> Are they still doing the catfish on Saturdays? Yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. never made it up for that. I've always wanted to. In the evening, she does fish and music, and then, of course, during the week, we have ham hamburgers or daily luncheons or whatever they have. And yeah. the woman that makes makes the beans, she was 100 years old, I think five or six oh, years yeah. ago. Oh, yeah. Well, she's not, she doesn't do them anymore. She just celebrated her 110th anniversary, I mean, anniversary birthday. She's 100, in a nursing huh, home now. 110? <laughs> wow. She's 110. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's something. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty nice. 
can't complain. <laughs> so we still keep our doors unlocked. We still just kind of do whatever. You know. Yep. Kind of go back a hundred years and feel like you can relax a little bit. Yeah, that's so. nice. Yeah. Yep. So you kids really playing on the creek or are they just playing in the park? They're playing in the park. They may be playing in the creek too. I don't know. They thought they saw a duck when we went over the bridge. So I just oh, headed okay. straight over here because I wanted to see the historic downtown area, I guess oh, okay. is what you call this. But. <laughs> well, they used to be a college here. And yeah, okay. Oh. I didn't know that. My understanding, I don't remember it. Yeah, I've seen this on the map forever, but today's the first day I've actually physically been here. So well, I live in Gainesville. It's been pretty fall this year. Yep. Yeah, you know, well, everywhere it's been pretty. So. Yeah, that's sure. another re thing we came out for is to see the pretty leaves. Well, fall color changes. In October, they have a little festival, and the museum will be open and all that kind of stuff, which is just local people. And <laughs> so it's kind of wild. <laughs> yeah, that's neat. A museum. When When is that museum open? Oh, usually they open it like in October. We have a fall festival here. Yeah, yeah, I see that it says fall festival on that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. That's when pavilion. Have the museum okay, there all right. Like There's usually a lot of people here. What kind of stuff's in the museum? What it's kind? Like local people stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like from back people in. People that lived here and grew up here. People who arrived in 1850. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> that was Neat. way before my time. Yeah, yeah, me too. But that's what well, museums God. are. All right. Good nice talk to you. Yep. Yep. Enjoy your day too. All right, sir. I'm going to get out of here. Yes. Yeah. Make this trip. Okay. okay. Enjoy Pleasure. it. Pleasure talking to you. Pleasure talking to you too. Good luck. Stay safe. If you get any money for that video? <laughs> I'll cut you in on it. For sure. You never know. It could go viral. Greenwood. Greenwood Gym. Greenwood. Pioneers came to settle this area as early as the 1850s. Local, local tradition states that the Greenwood and Hart families were among the first settlers in the area and that the community was named for the Green, Greenwood family and the creek for the Hart, the huh. creek for the Hart family. So I guess it's Hart Creek. Huh. As the town of Greenwood began to grow, businesses, churches, cemeteries, school, and a Masonic Lodge were established. The post office was opened in 1877 and a town well was dug by John Carr, Carr Berry, in the early 1890s. At its peak, the town boasted two saloons, four grocery stores, two drug stores, a hotel, bank, hardware store, barber shop, blacksmith shop, cotton gin, and the Greenwood Gazette newspaper. The Greenwood, the Greenwood Male and Female College Although in, the opera although in operation for less than 20 years, provided quality education for the young people of the community. This small settlement has served as a supply center for surrounding farming communities for over 100 years. It has also been a center of social and religious activities. Three churches serve the Greenwood area. Greenwood Baptist Church, founded as Hearts Creek Missionary Baptist Church about 1872. Greenwood Methodist Church founded about 1880 and Greenwood Church of Christ founded in 1896. Huh. The end. Wow. It was, a, it was booming back then. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Gainesville was too, but the, the city, you know, they plow over everything old. So Gainesville, where I'm from, it, it was a booming community back then, but it, now that the city leaders just, like if there was a building like that, they'd be like plowed over, you know, anything that's old and historic seems to yeah. get plowed over. So, yeah. Well, Y'all enjoy it. Go check out that racetrack. I, I, I highly recommend it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so this is open every day right here. They, he was talking about the burgers and soup and stuff that she makes. Woman who's now 110 years old. She's in the rest home now, but before that, she, she worked here until she was over 100 years old. It's still open. Good restaurant. Every year, second Saturday of October, they have a fall festival centered right there. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, right over there. I think we turn left and oh, yeah. anyway, your GPS will show you. Oh. Adios. All right, adios. I wonder if these Coke machines still work. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna check out the Coke machine. I'm gonna see if it got, it's got a Coca-Cola in it. I'm just gonna look at it. Oh, they don't. Well, yeah, this, they do work. Yeah. This one's on. This one's dead. Dang, I wish I had 75 cents. It costs 75 cents. You put 75 cents in here, and then you press whatever kind of Coke you want. What kind would you want? Do you like Country Time Lemonade, Juicy Fruit, Big Red, RC, Dr. I, Pepper, 7-Up, Sunkeep, yes. Root Beer? You want a Root Beer? Yeah. Well, guess what? I don't have 75 cents, but if I did, you would put three quarters right here. You put the three quarters right there, and then you'd hit that, and then it would fall down there. Check the change, see if there's any change. No, nope, no change right there. We probably, um, yeah, it's on. It's a working Coke machine. I haven't seen one of these in forever. Of course, I'm sure they're in all kinds of places where people who run vending machines go, but I don't go to those places. So for me, seeing a Coke machine outdoors is something I haven't seen since I was a kid. If I had 75 cents, I'd get you a Coke, but I don't. Sorry, sweetie. Next time, we'll bring some quarters with us. Well, we do have... Did it start with a V or a B? P. Pavilion. Not Pavilion. 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 Yep, yep. Looks like a neat place to... Oh, yeah, the fan is on. I think maybe the wind is blowing it. I don't know if electricity is making it work or not. <laughs> well, what a neat little area. Yeah. Are you a rock star? Well, here's the entertainment. This is a great pavilion. We've even got an entertainer. Dad, yes. Can you please turn on some music? Well. <laughs> I could, but I'm going to go over here. Y'all are awesome. Hey, <laughs> watch out when you jump in. When you jump in leaves like that, there could have been a hole right there. You could have just fallen down in a 100-foot hole. You just got to be really careful. You never know, there could be a, like a manhole cover that's broken or something. It could be under there. You just never know. So. I'm a rock star, Dad. You are a rock star. I don't have to pretend. <laughs> You're the unicorn rock star. I'm going to go over here and look at the, this smoker over here. Yeah, it's over. Ooh, look. It's a bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. It looks like that. Like an outhouse. Man, this is for some, they must do some serious smoking here. These are big smokers. Just like yours. No, it's bigger than mine, way bigger. Then. Built by the Greenwood Masonic Lodge and donated to the community in honor of Bobby Ashley for continued support of our lodge and the community of Greenwood. This was built in 2011. Cool. Nice table right there. You see, hopefully it's. Wow! Whoa! Nice. Look at all that space in there, man. Mmm, that smells good too. They've used it recently. It's seasoned. Mm, wow! Look at that smoker. That's a nice smoker. Very nice. There's a hole at the bottom of it. That's to let the grease drain out. Oh. Here, let me close it. Boy, yeah. I like it. You got a no thermometer. Good. Thermometer goes up to 500 degrees. No wonder their burgers are good here. Yep. And then they got an old smoker right there. That must be the one that they were using before they built this one. Well, they did a good job building this one. Well, that one's good too. I don't know why they're. I guess. 
they just don't need it but boy i would i would think that would still be a really Here's great one to use wood. maybe they maybe that was the one they either had before and they decided to go ahead and do something different or they started building one and then they said hey let's build something even bigger and so awesome remember how they get the wood in here maybe from the back nope no nope. no openings in the back they may just okay so they've got this thing what does this do okay this this lever locks locks all the doors you put a lock on here and then you can't open any of these doors once you lock it that's neat Cool. A big pipe right there for the smoke to go out. Smoke goes out right here. You got this lever which moves. Yeah, that big lid on the smokestack will close it. Oh, it's wide open. Now, let's put it the other way right here. Hmm. That should close it. Sure enough, we close the smokestack. Trying to find the door where they put the wood in here. It's not here, they must, they must just throw it in. Oh, here it is. This is how they do it. So, what we have here is a firebox that ends right here. And then the rest of it down there is the, the cooking part of the smoker. So you put the wood in here, light it up, and all the heat and smoke, they go through, they enter the rest of the smoker right there. Awesome. So now we know how it works. Where what? All right. So you smell the tar smell and it's coming from the telephone pole, huh? Yeah, they dip those telephone poles in tar to keep them from rotting when they stick them in the ground. You know, because a tree will rot. But if you make a telephone pole out of a tree, dip it in tar then all of a sudden the bugs won't eat it hey there's a bug on it, it. won't rot <laughs> <laughs> well they're not i bet the bug's not trying to eat it some sort of blade on it looks like <laughs> eat it grasshopper he said he's just happens to have a grasshopper in his hand Aww. he tried to get the grasshopper to eat the ladybug It's not. That looks like a quarter. Yeah. I guess this the is some. Numbers aren't in order. It's some kind of identification number for the telephone pole. All right. I'm going to go back over here.
Okay. You want to see their post office? Let's see what kind of building they've got over here. The Charlotte Coal Building. I bet this is an outhouse. We're gonna find out. Oh, Teddy, there's grasshoppers everywhere here. Oh my gosh. Grasshoppers everywhere. Yeah, grasshoppers everywhere. Let's see what we got in here in this building. It's a porta potty. It looks like a toilet to me. It's so exciting. Yay. <laughs> you wanna sit on there? No. You'd probably get bitten in the butt if you did that. Yep, sure enough. The Charlotte Coal Building is a porta potty building. I'm gonna look at this. I'm getting a closer look at this post office from behind. So this is the Greenwood Post Office. We're going to read what it says here. It says, due to COVID-19, there will be a community-wide Thanksgiving luncheon. No, there will not be a community-wide Thanksgiving luncheon this year. We will uh, stay well and healthy community members. All right, Greenwood community members. They will not have their annual community Thanksgiving dinner. Understandable. They're pretty cool. Good decoration. I bet it was real at some point in time. Yeah, so this is a museum. And I was looking like right here. Dad, look at the floor. It's like swirls. Yes, and look behind you. There's a peacock. What? Isn't that pretty? Some kind of bird with a long tail. Might be a rooster or just something else. Might be a golden pheasant. Might be a golden pheasant. You're right. Because it is short. It's got a short neck, so I don't think it's a peacock. But it's got a long tail, so. Maybe they made up the bird. Maybe it's something the world has never seen before. Be careful around these, because if you fall and hit your eye on that, you poke your eye out. Yeah. This, yeah. this building was made out of sticks. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is. Found it. It's a huge canyon waterfall. Look at this, Dad. Yeah, I think this is the waterfall. Uh, you can't really see it from that side, but you can hear it. Dang, people throw trash in here. That's not good. Yeah, you think of this place, Ted? Kind of interesting, isn't it? Smooth. Well, there could be. 
Oh, people come over here to shoot their guns. <laughs> Let me see what kind of bullets those are. They're that is shells. uh yeah, Winchester 10 millimeter automatic. That's a 10 millimeter bullet. Wow. Boy, I don't want to fall off this cliff. But that's a waterfall, sure enough. Look, somebody dumped their dead dog right there. Look, that's a dead dog. There's a dead dog down here. Stink. That's what stinks. It's a German Shepherd right there, a dead dog. And their fence, you're right. They Y'all be careful, this cliff is, you don't want to fall off of it. Right there. You can see it real easy right here. Yeah. I don't know how it got. I don't want to see it. Now there's dead cats and other animals down there too. But yeah, that's really, that's a cave really. I mean, it's a cave. I, get, I wonder how far it goes up under. After a good rain. Yeah. After a good rain, you probably wouldn't be able to get across right there. Though. Yeah, this is a neat area. It's in Cook County. I've heard of it. I've just never seen it before. But apparently the county does clean it out every once a year or something. But I don't know how they would get down there to do that. So I'm not sure. Be careful. There could be snakes. But yeah, it's such a pretty place to be a trash heap. It's like, oh, it's so beautiful. Let's screw it up. You know? Well, they're like, oh, it's remote. Nobody will see us. It. Yeah. Oh, let's smell it. Yeah. Boy, that's sorry because it stinks because of the dead dog and it's ugly because of the trash. But otherwise, it's just a natural beauty. Yeah. It should be. Hmm. The wind is blowing my way. I get all the dead dog smell. That's what all this poop is, is buzzard poop. Yeah, this this is the waterfall that I, we were trying to find. And that would be a real pretty waterfall if it was flowing going over that. If it wasn't all the that junk down here. Yeah. That's how all this junk got moved down the path. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's some junk that goes way way on down there. Yeah. Oh, that's hollow. Feel that. Listen to that. It's hollow. Hollow under there. Can I do it right here? Yeah, you can tell. You can tell it's hollow right here because it sounds hollow. Let's not bang on it too much. You don't want to fall through the earth. Right there. That's what it sounds like if it's hollow. Under there it's hollow. Oh, I bet it is. This is the waterfall? Yep. This is it. The famed waterfall. Now this may not be the only area where there's a waterfall. There may be even other places. Watch your step for snakes. This is prime snake area, y'all. Teddy, your legs are so exposed, a rattlesnake would easily bite you. You watch that ground. Last thing we want is a rattlesnake to bite, y'all. Yep, I think that's the scapula of a deer or a dog or something. Or a coyote or a hog. 
There's bones here. Oh, thank you, Izzy. You can carry it, and it can be yours, maybe. Thank you, Izzy. Well, we probably ought to turn around because once we, well, I don't know. That's a pretty cool forest. Yeah. Boy, if I was uh, on a bicycle ride, this wouldn't be a bad place to stop and camp. Yeah. Yeah. Off in there. Set up a tent and camp. Of course, everybody can see from the road right there, but. Okay, let's go back. We'll, when we drive, we'll go up that hill. But we're going to walk back. Wow, what a cool rock. Look at the rock that I found. Let me see. Wow. Yeah, that is pretty neat. You can stay here, rock. <laughs> hey. Because you're powerful. <laughs> well, he just recovered from the coronavirus, so hopefully I didn't get it. Yeah. But um, he said he's fully recovered, and his friends hug him and everything, and he's he's not contagious anymore. But he did have it. But yeah, he's just out exploring like us. I like the way they made this picnic table out of concrete on the top. Kind of cool. For smashing acorns. <laughs> All the other acorns that I smashed had worms in them. Did you find the duck in the creek that you were looking for? I wasn't a duck. What was it? It was a shadow. Wow, that is a huge acorn. I think that's from a bur oak tree. Where did you find that? Over there in that bur oak tree. Oh yeah, that is a bur oak. Big oak tree. Did y'all? Hey, did y'all? Did y'all swing on the swings? They're broken. Oh. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. So, here is a bur oak tree. Oh, 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 so, yes. Ugh. There we go. These big acorns here from the burr oak right here. Pretty cool bridge. It's got a down. steel frame. Oh, that looks like a beaver dam, sort of. A beaver dam? Wow. That's pretty. It does look kind of like a beaver dam with all the sticks. The other side is still and not pretty. Yeah. It's way over here. All right. Yeah. Cool. All the leaves in there. You probably, when we were driving by, you saw a big leaf floating in the water and maybe thought it was a duck. No, there's like a reflection. See that reflection over there that kind of looks like a duck? Oh yeah, it does. You're right. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I'm glad we went exploring today. We found some cool stuff. Yeah. What? What was that? We heard something rustling in the woods. It sounded like a creature. Maybe it was a rabbit. 
Maybe it was an armadillo. But it stopped. Let's listen for it. Maybe we should throw a rock over there and see if we can scare it. Yeah. Okay. It's somewhere right over there. Okay. I'll the rock. Oh, did it move? I think it did. Let's give me a rock and I'll throw it further over there. Here. Here's where I think it is. I'm gonna throw it. Oh, hey, there's a car coming. Okay, let's wait for the car to come. Okay. Well, we'll watch out. <laughs> it's great to get everybody on tape like that. You know, it's like, are they going to try to hit us or are they going to get out of the way? So they got out of the way. I think whatever it is is gone. Yeah. It may have went in a hole. Yeah. Just sometimes it's possum. Yeah. Speaking of armadillos, one time <coughs> we were at um, a creek, we saw an armadillo rustling around in the leaves up on a cliff. Yeah. Danger! Hydrogen sulfide poisonous gas may be present. Well, that's a little more mo motivating than caution, no trespassing, or notice. Posted. You could die from hydrogen sulfide poisonous gas. Ha 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 It's been a great day for an outdoor adventure for the kids. We were driving by and saw this playground and decided to stop. Unfortunately, all the swings are actually broken, but it's still a pretty area. <laughs> 